Rose to serve. Well inside the Welsh 22. Ring Rose steps back inside, but he's wrapped up. Tompkins, I think, is the one to make the tackle. Tight furlong is chopped down. Still low there for Ireland. Jonathan Sexton on the wrap around. Here's Mac Hansen. Pass outside. Bundiaki! Two minutes, 17 seconds. Ireland have the first try. Basically okay, means space out wide. So obviously it's going to start from there. Ever so reliable set piece platform of a line out, but look at that carry sucking in three Welsh bodies on the ground here. Arguably, Mac Hansen could have been in for an earlier try. They had space on the right wing, but still they recycled. And there's just the awareness there to put that floating pass in over the top. That's a warning sign for Wales. They know the physicality that the island possess, but they cannot afford to be losing that many players to a contact situation. Seventh international try for Bundiaki. 31-year-old now, 34 international caps born in New Zealand, of course. Holding on, but holding on illegally and dragging that ball down. Second time they've been penalised. Advantage to Ireland. Aki, and then Sexton and Ringrose. And up to the five metre line. Quick ball for Gibson Park. Out wide it goes. Andrew Conway puts his foot on the gas. Gotta be evidence to say he's wrong. Andrew Conway will provide that evidence. Short. Ooh, that just looks short to me. He's not in touch, but I think the issue would be the grounding. Now this will be the one. You say it will be the one. Gibson Park, Van der Flair started it all with that take and break and now it's Conan Wales hanging on desperately hanging on furlong tight burn it's a green wave that just keeps coming at them Gibson Park Conway third try for Ireland the second for Andrew Conway they made a break they made the work they capitalized on it lovely bit of moving play here Finally, getting that ball into that wide channel where they've been creating that space all game. Thanks, and then it's the recycling, the ability to take that short contact, but then still reap the benefits of the momentum that it creates. You feel like the ball is barely on the ground when it's in the island hands, because as soon as it hits the deck, it's up, it's whisked away, and straight out into the space. As easy as that. Yeah, and that's when you go through five, six, seven phases, that extra player. By contrast, Wales will be pinned play. on back. nine occasions. Roll the ball back and stopped. There for Ireland, Gibson. Leading into the clinical island that we saw in the Autumn Nations. Lovely little red player. From Andrew Porter on the floor. But it's his composure, and again, we see Matt Hansen popping up everywhere, constantly making that pass, making that assist. A great awareness there from Gary Ringrose. Liam Williams, 15, had to stay out. He could see Nick Thompson coming across. You've got to trust your inside man is going to make that tackle there. By the time he realises that Nick Thompson has slipped off, it's too late for Liam Williams to be able to change his direction. It is 11th international try for Gary Ringrose. He's had his injury problems over the last couple of years. Broken jaw, ankle ligaments kept him limited time in the green of Ireland and indeed the blue of Leinster he'll be absolutely thrilled with that one it's not on it release outside taken back Murray burn and it's stolen by Basham and out of nowhere Wales will get their first points of the championship was there to profit. Open side in for Wales' first try of... The carry there from Sam Johnson. White. There's Stuart Hall. Oh, he's through. And here goes Darcy Graham. He's looking for support. He made it on end up. It's on to White. What a debut this is. Well, if you'd said 20 minutes ago that the try would come, or the first try. Work done here 
It's your hunt. Look at this. Ball there to Darcy Graham, straight through the middle. Footwork, footwork. Dances his defender inside out. I think it was Marchant. And from there, Ben White. But that was it. Stuart Hogg and Ezekwe biting on him. Lifted his head. Darcy Graham hit the outside shoulder. Look at this footwork. Told lies with his eyes, Darcy Graham. And on the inside, Ben White. Look at that. What a moment for that young man. Dives over. Scotland respond immediately and make the most of their first meaningful possession. The Scotland defence of this mall being tested again. Grant Gilchrist just flying in there, he's got a retreat. It's another penalty advantage, here goes Ben Young's Marcus Smith! Carving the opportunity, the mall goes infield, and from there it's a free hit for England, knowing that they've got penalty advantage. Grant Gilchrist, you see Ben Young's just, he lifts his eyes, and late, look at his late movement, Marcus Smith. Youngs goes out, interests Ali Price. He has a nibble on the inside, and from there, defensively, Scotland are compromised. Smith with a pace around the corner. Darcy Graham ends up stepping up on, on Marchant rather than Smith. And you see the celebrations from Henry Slade as Marcus Smith goes over. What a moment for that young man. Let up the Premiership. White again, missing out Skinner. It's another cross kick this time. Oh. Well, the questions will be asked. Was that punched into touch? Jamonet's dropped that though. It's not forward by Jamonet. It goes Rutsa. Can the Italians get the first try on the board here? Varney using that ball, pummeling towards that French line. This is an opportunity for Italy. Garbisi, who's underneath it. It's going to be a try, and it's Manoncello on his test debut. Brilliant by the Italians. A little bit of ram, a little bit of rip here. I think it's whether the flag, you can knock the flag down as long as your legs aren't out. That was the turnover. Rutzer does well, doesn't he? Off he goes. Straight between the two, panic stations for France. Ball comes out, Gabrisi thinks it's the kit pass it is. Now let's look. I think that's a try, you can knock the post. Oh, does he land on the line? Oh, they have to slow that and rock and roll it. Right yeah. foot, right foot, Dowie. Oh, is he in field? Oh, my oh, goodness. Very close with regard. Ball goes, oh, it's intercepted. And it's going to be a try for the French. It's Anthony de Lunch, who does the sniper's work. He kept his eyes. <laughs> he just don't want to see that again. He's given it away. It's difficult. Probably the calls come from Gillange. It's my ball, and there it is my ball, and he knows no one's going to stop him. Dupont, they've got three backs all stacked up in midfield. Dante, brilliant hands outside. Must be a try. And it's the electric matchstick, Gabriel Villers, who scores. And at last, some French fusion. Oh dear, Karen Crowley will be doing his nut. They were going to come under pressure from that, and that's what's happened again, the strength of that French. Dupont, tackled by Lucchese. Away goes Gregory Aldrich. Here's Villiers. Oh, magic. Absolute magic from Villiers. Superb, they bide the time. And for me, man of the match at the moment, Gregory Aldrich, watch this. Hello, Sailor Bank. Thank you very much. Left and right. The Italian defence does not know where to go with Villiers. He scored that classic try at the end of the first half. That is just lovely stuff. And that is just a lovely finish. This boy loves scoring. He's a very Grant! hard man as well. He gets smacked by two or three people then. Still presents the ball superbly. And off France go again. Moefana, Damien Pado. He's away this time. Is this the bonus point try? Oh, yes it is. It is Gallic choreography of the highest standard. He's got two tries. And again, it was just a procession to the line. Yuani was it just quite... <laughs> gets it slightly wrong there. Peno scores the try. Two point in passing that ball just in support. Any sense of a forward pass at the end I here, Dowie? I think it was flat, to be honest. The referee's given the try. 
That one's fine. This one is a little bit flat, but he ain't going to blow up for that or go to the TMO. He's given the try. Give the Italians a, an opportunity to reset. Thomas Ramos. Walkie gets it to Intermac. Villier wide outside. Is he going to get the ball? Is he going to get his hat trick? Oh, yes, he is. Parisian panache from Gabba Villier. Well, there was space of plenty there. Beautiful little pop, but the timing of the pass to Gamba Villiers was simply sublime. Intermac doesn't do much wrong, does he? Damien Pinot finding more fun at, and the law ball just released the little flyer. Gamba Villiers from Toulon.